So this is the question. It says, uh, porpoises, I'm not sure if I'm saying the word right. I think it's a, a aquatic animal, uh, mammal maybe. I think they're like dolphins maybe, whatever. They emit sound waves that they use for navigation. So we have something here. Uh, I'm gonna represent my porpoises with this circle with the letter P inside. It's emitting some sound waves that used for navigation. Uh, the wavelength of the sound wave emitted is um, this length, okay, 5.75 centimeter. And the speed of sound in water is, um, well, this speed. What is the period of the sound? Okay. Now, as they're asking for the period, one of the things that's uh, useful to have memorized as you're going through the uh, waves and oscillations is the relationship between various quantities. So period directly relates to frequency and the relationship between a period of oscillation and frequency of oscillation is that period is the reciprocal of frequency or vice versa, you know frequency is a reciprocal of period because this is counting one cycle in however many seconds the period is. So, so once you recognize that, then it comes down to, oh, we need to find what the frequency of this sound wave is. And the, I think the way to specify this a little bit backward, um, I'm pretty sure usually the, the the frequency of the wave is set by the source and then the wavelength is whatever it happens to be. But I guess if you imagine you are trying to measure the property of the sound wave emitted by some animal, you could measure the wavelength and then work your way back. In any case, we are using the relationship that I've highlighted a couple of times as one of the most important relationship in dealing with the wave propagation, the relationship between wave speed and the frequency and the wavelength of the wave. The wave speed is frequency times wavelength. So the, uh, so the, since here we are looking for frequency or a version of that, uh, frequency of this sound wave should be wave speed divided by wavelength. And if we want, we can work out a couple more algebra steps to just to get period directly. We say the frequency is equal to one over period. So from this uh, relationship here, I can solve for period. Period is wavelength divided by wave speed. And you can check the validity of these expressions by checking for the units. When you get the period, there should be a unit of time, seconds. Unit of wavelength is in meters or a version like a centimeter. Uh, unit of speed is in meters per second. So you can see that when you take this uh, ratio or quotient, uh, the meters cancel. I have one over one over second. That's second. So, so let me plug in the numbers. Um, I guess I'll convert centimeters to meters as I am plugging in the numbers. My wavelength uh, is. 5.75 centimeters or 0 0.0575 meters divided by the speed of sound, 1530 meters per second. Meters will cancel, will give me a second. And the answer is that. Um, now, I could have counted places, now, but is, I see that I'm entering this as uh, the leading uh, what do you call it, uh, mantissa of this uh, scientific notation. So uh, I'm going to be looking for a quantity where if I multiply by 10 to minus 5 will be this number. So I can work backward. I can take this number, mul multiply by 10 to the power of 5, and then that'll give me this mantissa here. So let me take that answer. Um, you know what? Let me put that in the variable, p. <laughs> Um, so that answer times uh, 10 to the power of 5. So, okay, I, I guess, yeah, 3.76. Um, 
by the way, in the um, in this class, we don't. Uh, I guess it there's a sometimes a rule about scientific notation where this mantissa must be between one and uh, I mean one or greater and less than ten. Uh, I don't go by those rules because. You know, there are circumstances where it's convenient to, to fix the power of 10 as some, uh, some uh, intuitive value and just to let the mantisa be whatever it needs to be. That's why I didn't just take this and just take this uh, uh, first three digit non zero digits here. Because uh, this, this could have been 10 to minus 6, or depending on how the numbers generate, this could have worked out to be less than 1 or greater than 10. Anyways, so that's the answer. Um, pretty simple.